as the weather warms up, we're enjoying more time outside, but that also means we're at a greater risk of damage from UV rays. Ophthalmologist Mark S. Werner and dermatologist Gail H. Motner join us as part of Healthy Vision and Skin Cancer Awareness Month to help educate us about the dangers of the sun. Doctors, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us, what are the consequences of prolonged sun exposure and are children more susceptible to the dangers of UV rays? Well, the number one consequence of increased sun exposure is skin cancer. Skin cancer rates continue to increase and it's important to protect ourselves early on. Children should be protected from, from six months of age and up with sunscreen, in addition, sun protective clothing, seeking shade during the peak sun hours is very important. Okay, and what are the best ways people can protect themselves from the dangers of UV rays this summer? Well, in terms of skin, sunscreen is the most important way. You want to look for sunscreens that have protective ingredients such as zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, ones that are safe to wear daily, ones that are safe for the environment. There's always new stuff out there, right? Are there any new products that people can use to better protect their eyes from the sun? Yeah, absolutely. Zeiss came out with a new lens called the UV Protect, which for the first time blocks all the ultraviolet that's coming at your eyes. In the past, lenses just protect you against UVB. The Zeiss lens now covers UVB and UVA. UVA has been implicated in a lot of problems such as cataracts, macular degeneration, eyelid skin cancer. So with the Zeiss lens, you can protect against all of those problems. Okay, educate us here. What are some of the myths about UV rays and the sun? Well, the biggest myth is that you don't have to wear a sunscreen on a cloudy day. That's not true. The clouds only block at about 20% of those damaging rays. In addition, you have to wear sunscreen through all the, su all the seasons, not just during the summer. It's also important to wear your sunscreen when you're driving to work because those UV rays are penetrating the glass as well. What are some of the warning signs of both skin cancer and vision damage? In terms of skin, any suspicious growth that's changing color, shape, bleeding, itching, drawing attention to itself should be seen by a dermatologist. And with regard to the vision, uh, any change in your vision, you need to address it immediately, but you also need that annual eye exam because you might not know of changes that are going on in your eyes. You might not have vision changes, yet you might have something serious going on. So make sure you get that annual eye exam as well. Doctors Mark Warner and Gail Montner, thank you so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.